Good morning, the modern mystic. I want to celebrate and herald, being the uh, town crier that I am. This is around 1.50, and I'm talking central time. We've got the nodes, of the moon, the north node Rahu, the south node K2, and Taurus and Scorpio respectively. Pinging with the sun at 27 degrees in Aquarius, and our impending full moon tomorrow, 27 degrees in Leo. The moon will be at 16 degrees Leo, just before this happens, so that's 11 degrees. It's got 11 degrees to go. Uranus is at 11 degrees. Okay, now. The moon at 16 degrees of Leo is pinging, is in Paran, is in supreme harmony, in 150 degree difference. Okay, that's Venus and Mars conjunct in Capricorn at 16 degrees. The moon is at 16 degrees. And these, in these parts, Saturn is at 17 degrees in Aquarius. The midheaven, what will be known about this event? is at 16 degrees Pisces. Conjunct, snuggly, both sides almost equal distance, Jupiter at 10 Pisces, and Neptune at 21 degrees Pisces. 21 is a 3, and that 3, you know, the Neptune pitchfork, the trident, trident. We're trying beings, we're trinary beings, not binary. The system is binary, but we're not binary, we're trinary. That means tads, tertiary, anthropos, derivatives, anyway, tadpoles. But the three Neptune indicates a heartland status. We are on Earth, we've reported to Earth, we are subject to Earth and laws, and we are heartlings because we have that third element that makes us trinary. All right, so 27 is a 9. We got Chiron at 9 in Aries, up in the 10th house. So that's also going to be known that 9 is the Hermit. That's where the healing is all inside. And we put Neptune there. You know, we have an opportunity. 16 degrees minute. Now the, the uh, I see and Nadir of the chart, 16 degrees Virgo. And to me, that indicates healing. And because it's a mutable sign, I believe the home locale at a seven is going to change. So it's sort of a magic carpet. But we definitely have to steer it, you know. Having Virgo to steer is good because it gives us flexibility. It's not like the Leo where it's stuck in its way. So that's, this is part of our equipment, our gear for travel. We have 16 degrees I see in Virgo now. I'm in central Texas, so this is where we are. And as far as navigation goes, we're heading to the future, which will be Rahu at 27 degrees Taurus, conjunct and in Peron with Uranus at 11 degrees Taurus. And I say Peron because between 11 degrees Uranus in Taurus and Rahu North Node at 27 degrees Taurus, that's 16 degrees. So they're in trine together with Venus and Mars at 16 degrees of Capricorn. So they're really fueling this birth. I mean, what are the ingredients of the cake? The, the ingredients are the most easy right now. We have also Neptune and Jupiter and the, the, the midheaven. So all of this is creating the memories, creating the legacy, creating what it's going to be known as. And there is, right there, Venus and Mars, 16 degrees in Capricorn. And it's going both ways, you know, communication is never one way. If it is one way, then it's, it's not reciprocal and no, no life can come about. Once it's reciprocal and there's energy flowing both ways, yeah. Then we can create some friction and have a baby. And what we're birthing with the moon in Leo. So the womb is made of just this pure light of the sun, like pure light energy, very clear, like a crystal clear mountain stream and you're standing under the waterfall and just psh, beautiful. Because the sun wants to shine and at 16 degrees it wants to shine its body because it's so perfect, just too sexy for my shirt. 
but the moon there in Leo, the heart and the moon, the mother, we feel at home with ourselves creating, generating energy. And a Taurus doesn't necessarily generate energy unless it's like you know, on a plow or like a factory or something like that. So it's that kind of energy, not, you know, jumping around energy. So that's what we're doing. So I just wanted to uh, give that update and I will try to use the chart itself as the thumbnail so you can see it. Okay.